I love to dance. I love to make people dance now. I've been doing Bhangra dancing since I was five. I started teaching when I was in grade 12. Became a coach after I finished high school. I continued to teach because I just love doing it so much. SFU had a Bhangra team and they competed throughout North America. And while I was doing that, I was coaching an all girls team. And I feel like the impact that I had on kids by just showing up to pat practice just to coach them, I saw the difference that it made in their health. And then that passion just kept growing. Once I got married, I ended up moving to Nanaimo. So that was December of 2020. I got here, I googled Bhangra on Vancouver Island and it didn't exist. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let me try starting this out. You cannot go to one of her events without getting up and actually doing the, uh, the dance with her. And she makes it really accessible so that uh, even if you're all sitting in rows and you're standing up, she's got a way about involving you that uses uh, language that we understand, like uh, screwing in a light bulb, for instance, right? So that becomes a movement. And so it's fantastic to have that kind of community uh, all dancing together. She certainly is infusing uh, Crimson Coast Dance and definitely our community with that kind of energy. I joined the Crimson Coast Dance Society. I'm a board of director there. Uh, Linda Adams brought me on the board. Holly Bright, she's the artistic director and she's so supportive of any types of arts. And she gave me the opportunity to organize A Glimpse of India. It's a full day event of all the different types of South Asian arts. When anybody moves to Nanaimo, they ask me, is there anything Indian happening in Nanaimo? And I always tell them, like, once a year we have this festival, Glimpse of Life, Glimpse of India, and, you know, you get to see a little bit of India, and, you know, that's, that's so huge to be able to have something ongoing. And plus this ongoing classes, uh, now she's making a team of uh, kids, so they will be able to go and compete. And in a short time, she has just created this, such a name for our community. Suki has won the Honor and Culture Award from City of Nanaimo for her dedication for Culture Fabric of Nanaimo. I was in shock, actually, when I found out I, I got it. I was so excited because I didn't realize how much of an impact Vancouver Island Bhangra had on the community. It kind of motivated me to grow Bhangra even more. I want to do more free workshops for everybody. Um, I want more people to try this dance form. And it's not just dance. It's it's fitness too. Your mental health, physical health, it, it all ties together. The work that she does that I just love is that we become part of her, uh, a part of her energy and part of uh, uh, the entertainment of what it is. And it is joyful and we kind of need that joy. 